If you're a dentist or a hygienist, this is something you might want to know. Hi, my name is Kristen Goodfellow. I'm a practicing registered dental hygienist and a clinical director for a national dental products company. One of the major parts of my job is to help train dental teams. So I talk to dental teams around the country and probably one of the most common questions that I get is how to help build a perio program. When we're in dental hygiene school, we are taught to perform the act of scaling and replaning, but not necessarily the best way to execute a perio program with a patient. Step one of any successful perio program is regular probing. And for those of you that are doing this, you're thinking, well, of course, I do that at least once a year and you're exactly on point. That's exactly what you should be doing. But there's definitely offices out there that I've worked in and spoken to that are not regularly probing. That first and foremost is going to be your bare minimum measurement tool of whether or not scaling and root planing needs to be performed. You'll need it for insurance purposes and you'll need it to diagnose. The second step is to make sure you are diagnosing from the clinical attachment level. It's incredibly important that you not only measure the pocket depth, but any areas of recession because a patient can have a two millimeter pocket but three millimeters of recession, and that means that they have five millimeters of loss. That is active periodontal disease. Oftentimes we base our diagnosis off of actual pocket depth, and you have to go from the clinical attachment level. Step number three is the plan the execution of the plan. Performing scaling and replaning is the part that you already know how to do. A little tip though, insurance typically doesn't cover an entire mouth in one day. So you'll have to break the patient up at least in half. Doing the half that is worse is probably better and also improving their home care long-term. You can't perform scaling and replaning once and expect to see a result. The way to have a healthy program in your office is actually to have perio maintenances come in at least every three months. Every 12 weeks, that bacteria repopulates. It's very aggressive in nature, and if you are not aggressive in your treatment, then you will not slow this disease down. Those are my kind of quick one, two, three rules in regards to building a perio program. There's definitely more tips in the future, so make sure you like and follow.